expectations of others, especially negative ones, you never will change the outcome. Michael Jordan. The expectations of others have a huge impact on what we do in our lives and how we act. So I really do hope you listen when I tell you about the similarities, differences, and similar obstacles between Veronica Rothman along with how we overcame those obstacles and what we learned along the way. Veronica Roth, the acclaimed author of the best-selling book series Divergent, and I have many things in common. We both have siblings. We both were born in another place in Mary's, which for her she was born in New York City and raised primarily in Barrington, Illinois, while I was born in Atlanta, Georgia and raised outside of L.A., California. We both started writing creatively around 12 and have an interest in cooking, not singing, of course not, <laughs> writing and reading. We also, with all these similar characteristics, we have a lot of different characteristics too. She is the youngest of three and married, while I'm unmarried and the oldest of two children. She has a college degree in writing and published novels, while I do not, and can only dream of going to the level she's taken her writing career to and attend, plan to attend college. She has divorced parents while I do not, and she has an interest in science and singing while I, while I more prefer math and photography. Now for our obstacle, which was overcoming ex everyone's expectations of oneself and what you, how you act and what you do with your work, especially in school. As a writer, Veronica Roth faced many different expectations for her novels. People criticized what she wrote about and how she wrote it. Not only that, but she had to deal with the negative comments about her novels. So if she were to go on the internet one day and see something, a book review that didn't quite agree with what she wrote and how she wrote it, she would still have to push through it all and come out on the other side all right. And while doing so, I had to stay true to her initial vision for her writing. As someone who makes good grades in class and is expected and does well in school, I'm expected of a lot through my schoolwork, through the quality of my schoolwork and how I act. Many people have high expectations of how I act. Most people expect me to make 100 on the exam. Well, that doesn't happen often. And when I don't get 100, everyone knows about it within the first three minutes when grades are handed out. So when I answer a question wrong for someone, I feel like I shouldn't have said anything at all because I let them down in a way and they expect more from me. Veronica Roth overcame her obstacle for dealing with everyone's expectations of her work by realizing the fact that she does what she wants to and writes about what she wants to and what she writes doesn't have to please or bend to everyone's expectations for her work. I overcame my obstacle of dealing with everyone's expectations of how I act and what I do with my schoolwork by realizing the fact that as long as I stay true to my own obligations and expectations of myself, other people's expectations shouldn't really matter. Veronica Roth learned that she needs to stay true to her initial vision for her writing, no matter what, what other people tell her. I, ver I learned that it's not others' expectations of my work and actions, but the expectations of, I have for myself in my work that should truly matter to me. I also learned that sometimes I will exceed people's expectations, and sometimes I fall short. But it's really keeping my own values intact that is the most important. Given these points, Veronica Roth and I have many similarities, differences, similar obstacles, and how we overcame those obstacles by realize, realizing what should really be important, and important to us, along with what we learned. So if you would, remember that everyone's expectations of you may have an impact on what you do in life, but it's the expectations and obligations you have to yourself 